Hey YouTube, in this video what I'm going to do is talk about these two Camlin high quality drawing pencils. I have one that's a 9B and one that's a 10B that was sent in uh, by a subscriber out in India. He's asked me to compare these to uh, other 9Bs and 10Bs that I have in my possession. And so that is what I'm going to do in this video. Well, let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is show you close up what these pencils look like. Now, I only need to show you one of them close up because they both have the same exact paint job. One is just a 9B, one's a 10B. So, as you can see here, I have the 9B, and it has this paint job that, that almost looks like some kind of a camouflage type of a paint job. It's very interesting. And you can see that it has a, a gold foil print that says Camlin see if we can get that in focus there Camlin high quality drawing pencil and then it tells you the company there Kokuyo Camlin limited this is the 9B and it just has this little grayish band here on the end now it says the the, the um, shade on two places on the end which is a lot better than just one print which I don't really like. I prefer three or more but two is a lot better than one I can tell you that. And Here's the tip this one here is already pre-sharpened I wish this thing would quit going out of focus on me but here we go and this, the other one's the same. Now I'm going to uh, give this a little more of a sharpen so that uh, I can then compare it to another 9B and 10B that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice long tip here with this butchered sharpener of mine. Now I had to start over again because it actually broke the tip off. Could have happened from shipping, I don't know. But I'm going to get a little more tip on here. there a nice crazy tip on there and the 10B there you go look at those wild wild points I tell you I love that sharpener okay and now pull out some drawing paper gives us time to do a little bit of shading and we'll start with the 9B and see how this thing goes on. Okay, are we in focus? I think so. So, just holding it in the back as I usually do. It's going on really nice and soft. Feels like a good high quality graphite here. There we go, and that's the 9B. And here we go with the 10B. All right, so there, there seems to be a, a mild difference between the two as far as darkness. I'm using the 9B again just to fill in all the white of that paper there. There we go. And try not to press down too much, but you're going to get a little bit of a glare because that's what happens. So you get that, that graphite shine because it's a very soft pencil. But there you go. There's the two pencils right there. And it's hard to tell the difference at this. When you're at this high up in the graphite range, it looks close to me as being pretty much the same. You know, I'll write this down as 10B. It's very, it's very soft. It's a very soft pencil. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my 
uh, Stadler here. Let me pull this thing back. I have these uh, Stadler pencils. Now these should be all graphite and they are. These are the newer Stadlers. The older Stadlers, uh, the 7, 8, 9, I believe those are the three. Uh, I don't think six, but I think it's more seven, eight, nine and have uh, carbon in, in the graphite mixed together. But these should be pure graphite. So I have a 9B. Now I don't have a 10B in here because it only goes up to 9B. So that's the best I'm going to do with the Stadler, but we're going to go ahead and compare. Let me sharpen this. That's a good enough point for me. All right, so zoom it back down again. And here's the Stadler 9B. I'm going to hold it from the back. Okay, I'm going to write Stadler here. And that's the 9B. Now, I can see with the naked eye here that the Stadler 9B is not as dark as the Camlin. It's a little lighter. Here, I'll put it side by side and you can see for yourself. There's the Stadler right there. And these, this is the Camlin. And you take a look there and you can write down in the comments section which you think is darker. I think Camlin looks darker. And holding it up to my face here, yeah, it looks darker to me. So the Camlin looks like it's a darker pencil than the Stadler 9B. Now I'm going to try the Mitsubishi, which does have a 9B and a 10B. So let me pull that back out again. Push down here. And we're going to take out the 9B, which is already sharpened, and the 10B. These pencils are getting really short because they're soft. All right. So we'll start off here with 9B of the Mitsubishi. And again, I will scoop it close about right there so we can get all three in there. And here is the Mitsubishi. And we need to do the 10B. So we'll do the 10B now. Put that one away. Now, let's take a close look at what we're looking at here. And, well, it's kind of close. It's hard to tell. But there's the Mitsubishi, Stadler, and Camlin. And there they are side by side. So, using my eyeballs on this thing, uh, the Camlin looks the darkest to me. And Maybe the Mitsubishi is a little darker. I don't know. It could be playing tricks with my eyes. We'll put it on the light box here and uh, see if that will shine a light on. <laughs> yep, that was a pun. Okay, with the light box, um, it still looks to me as if the Camlin is on the darker side. And this actually looks slightly darker than the Stadler. Just looking at like that, the Mitsubishi looks darker to me than the Camlin using the light. Not only that, but even the Camlin 9B looks darker than the 10B. Uh, if it doesn't to you, please tell me down below. But, but take a look at that. That looks, I mean, here's a 9 and here's a 10. That's a nice uh, increment. We don't have a 10 for the Stedler. And then that 9 looks darker than that 10 to me. Let's move the Camlins up and you can compare the two Camlins together. 
look at that. That there is the 10 from the Mitsubishi. And then, then the Camlin. There you go. That's the Mitsubishi. That's the Camlin. That's the Camlin 10B. That's the Camlin 9B. That's the Stadler 9B. And that is the Mitsubishi 9B. All right. Let's get back into the regular light here. Okay, now back in the light again and looking at this. Okay, let me put this 10B away here so we don't lose it. So, what do we have here? Well, using my magnifying glass on here, it's just the 9B and 10B, I can't really tell which is darker. So it's like the 10B is like, what's the point? But there you go. Um, but you saw with the light box, the light box itself, the 9B looked darker than the 10B. And the Mitsubishi, the Mitsubishi turned out to be darker than the Camlin under the light box as well and just mildly if anything they're the same on the 90s or just mildly darker that that to me is pretty close to a draw I'm not going to worry about it but the Camlin is darker than the 9b's of the other two but the funny thing is it's 9b is darker than the 10b so you know you have to kind of wonder if the 9b here is really not a 9b because of the fact that it's kind of uh, overwhelming the 10b it looks just like any old 10B so I mean that's the best I can I can estimate by looking at this you tell me what you think down in the comments below so here is the Pervent Art 10B as you can see when it gets into focus there and this is the 12B you maybe can make it out right there 12B alright so let's just see how this would compare with these two Camelins that is so I'm going to lay down this 10B so scratch your pencil as opposed to the Camlin, Mitsubishi and Stadler which are all very soft pencils this is a very scratchy uh, rougher graphite so it would be interesting to see how they compare as far as tone. But this here is the 10B. And this is the 12B. And you can probably hear it. Because it's a scratchier graphite. And again, I just, I don't see the point of going beyond the 8B let alone the 6B because I could just start using the carbon graphite mixed pencils myself instead of worrying about graphite but first off let's just check out these two and if you can make out a difference the 12B perhaps a little darker than the 10B whatever you think so now I'll go back to using the Camlin's 9B here. Very soft, smooth, nothing like the scratchy graphite I just used. And of course, I can see already that the woodless 10B is going to be darker than this, this 9B of the Camlin. I just hit some couple of clay spots in here, so there's a, there was a couple of clay uh, clay bits in there. I don't like that. And then here's the 10. I'll put it next to the 12. We've already done this before, so it's kind of redundant as far as doing the 10 again, because we already know the 10 didn't go out, didn't turn out to be as dark as the 9. 
and I'm going to fill this in as much as I can for the tan. Okay. Now, take a look. And that's for your comparison. The 10 and the 12 of the Woodless, the 9 and 10 of the Camlin. You decide which is darker from your vantage point. Well, there you go, folks. The Camlin High Quality Drawing Pencil 10B and the 9B. They are, in fact, high quality. I, I concur. They are high quality. They're smooth. They feel good. Good dark tones. However, personally, as I've already said, I think that we're in an area of tone here where you can't really tell the difference. So it's almost like you just happen to have two 9B pencils. I don't see the point of choosing between 9Bs and 10Bs. Well, I hope you like this review. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.